Yo, it's you! You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? I knew it! Curious cats like us usually have a better sixth sense. It's easier for us to perceive the unseen. Enough chit chat. Look, this is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gray here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Lofu, Fixtral Garden. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. Or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's been paranormal activity. You're such a here. scaredy cat. You said you'd protect me. How do I stab somebody with a silver body? I think I just saw something go wrong. <laughs> Me and my bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? Uh, it's called editing. I edited it. That way I can show what happened before and after. Anyway, the key moment was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. That's what I'm saying! At first, Sushong didn't believe that Fixtral Garden was haunted. But after the judges showed up... In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Exactly! Now, do you believe that my content isn't clickbait? Actually... Do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. <laughs> I knew it! This is what people like us live for! Let's go! I don't Did believe you extract her clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. <clears throat> Wandering fox spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden delve, constructed by a Foxian craftmaster. It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc, etc. It's said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of Abundance War 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral Garden became full of flickering ghostly flames, and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Xianzhou Lofu residents. I 
I know, right? I did a lot of research before I decided to film here. I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. Looks good. Whoa, this place feels pure evil. I wonder if this thumbnail would be approved. Shh. Follow me. Keep quiet. Hey, hey, it looks like there's someone up ahead. Immediately. Suspicious individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exception. Restricted area? Since when were you in charge of Fixtral Garden? Rules are made to be broken! This is our chance. to repent. Let's go. <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Component damage. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Wraith Warden, these two are not your enemies. Understood, Your Honor. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Of the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment, I am responsible for interrogation. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Gwenaifen, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Sushang, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. As for this one here... A passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity, and are a friend of the Alliance. I'm a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. My name is Huahua. As a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, you should speak with more confidence, Huahua. Oh, 
okay. Tell me, Gwen Ifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> We have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling! A and Xuxiang saw them too! Miss Gwynaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Xianzhou, right? That's gotta be it. Maybe we should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Uh, Mr. Tail... I hurt you, I hurt you. <laughs> Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a Heliobus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! <sighs> what a strange girl. Here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Grey. Deep breaths. <clears throat> a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! I told you I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Please don't be afraid! He's only kidding! Mr. Tail is a vegetarian! Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Huahua, please see them off. Y yes, ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave, for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. 
According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes, they attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other heliobi are nothing compared to me! Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. We should go. Excuse me, can we go now? Yes, he's trapped in my tail, so... Trapped? For now? Sooner or later, I'll find a way to make you break the seal! You think I like spending time with you? Shall we go? Let's go! Let's go this way. It's quicker. Miss Huahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out for a photo? Miss Queen Ifen, I'm on official duty right now. It's so quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? What was that sound? It's a ghost! Ah! What's happening? Uh, I'm not scared. I just can't stop my leg shaking. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Queen Ifen go? Uh, Miss Queen Ifen! Did we lose her? Queen Nifun, where are you? Oh, stay close. Kuo <laughs> 
Oh no, where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. This fixtural garden, but it looks different somehow. I should keep moving. Wasn't I just here a moment ago? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. Seems like the paths here are being twisted by some sort of illusion. I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. <laughs> You've noticed it, no? on you. You must be. I have heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle with none other than Fentilia. You... You are the one who drove Fentilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite, just one bite. I can't wait to savor you! These are no ordinary Fentilia. Of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Let's go. Crush them. Smash them to pieces. What a peppery fighting spirit. Such an addictive flavor. Well, you're fighting for your survival after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. Oh, my delicious host. 
You taste so special. Different from anyone else I've ever possessed. But what is this at your core? A sun? <laughs> it burns! You can call me Cirrus. Ask for what I want. Rest assured, I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sanjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created. And you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win! How does that sound? You must have figured out that I'm not the master of this place. It was created by another Heliobus named Furinox. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who can help you escape from here. <laughs> you mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. Good! I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact, for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go! Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. Hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. The door will not open without the proper... The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. <laughs> See? I told you.
you I'd help you. Stop. Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. <laughs> that judge? I can taste her fear from miles away. That coward has no right calling herself a judge. But... That thing attached to her is the tricky part. That's something I don't wish to face. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Give it up. Gwenaifan was probably eaten by the Heliobi already. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwenaifan, that means I'm in even more danger. <laughs> Did you know that the larynx is the easiest muscle to control in the human body? This again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? Talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap! Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye! Swear that you don't want to leave her behind? Not even a little. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? <laughs> hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off! Me and those other judges! Got that? Wait. Hold on. I smell something familiar. Cirrus, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. This is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the Furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a Kwai baby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 that won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail, a tail, a tail. <laughs> Laugh while you can, coward! I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that boy's body! <gasps> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you! You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried. You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail! You're pathetic. Darn it! Uh, think of something, you wimp! Uh, oh, Mr. 
Master Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the Heliobus's influence. <laughs> Say something nice to Wawa. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. Let me devour you at the start. I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job... the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliobob with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. <laughs> really? You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And you're... Paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Fury Nox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Uh, team building? Ugh. Because over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the general of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the general again. The battle between the general and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? Of course. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. Of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. There's an exception to everything. 
Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Shield my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamore did. Why? Does there have to be a reason? The official answer is that the Sienjo is sealing Heliobi in a cage and forcing them to supply energy to the ship. In reality, however, we just want to fight the General, and see what the Sienjo is truly made of! <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again! I want to return to the cosmos! Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the Fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the Great Beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the Judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Less screaming, more thinking! This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter protect us! The door will not open without the proper courtesy. The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. Look! Uh, there's a mirror behind the door! Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? 
that sound? Whoa, whoa, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Hua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shreyi? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenifen. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, you're right, boy. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. This is the exit, you useless brat! Come here! Ah! Madame Shreyi can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that! That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kinda sounds like Tail! Constructive criticism! Hm. Let's go look at the other mirrors. Whoa, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shuo Yi. Ugh, yuck! That judge would never say something so sickly. Let's go look at the next mirror. The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! Sounds like the real Madame Shuiyi. What? The real Madame Shuiyi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Kuo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> but what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. Hurry, Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. So we're gonna. Hurry, Hua Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. We are both judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Evidently, we are colleagues. The Heliobus that trapped us here wouldn't know that Madame Shrei and Madame Hanya are twin sisters. <sighs> A powerful Heliobus possessed her tail. It is a power that I dream of having for myself. <laughs> Never knew you were so popular, Mr. Tail. <laughs> Very funny. So we're gonna... Hurry, Hua, Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. 
Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Fair Hua Hua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shaggy behind the mirror! So, we're gonna... Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Come here, Huala. Come through the mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. Precaution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away. So, we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! So we're gonna... Come here, Huahua. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shui. Right? Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake! So, we're gonna... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are, either. What you? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! See? People say good things about you. What are you gonna do about it? The illusion wants to keep us in. But it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Uh, I think there's a mirror on that floating island. But it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Hua Hua. This should be the last mirror. <sighs> I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. 
It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this tower? <gasps> Let's go! This is the right mirror! Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shreyi, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. Correct. However, Hua Hua has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobi than you. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. You hear that, scaredy cat? You're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission! The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress Tail. I guess we're more like... friends? Friends? Ugh! I don't make friends with food! <laughs> Mr. Tail! Puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Let's go. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the General. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. 
Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Fury Nox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Fury Nox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Cien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? Why? Must Heliobai always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Fury Nox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They are powerful, but as naive as a child and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. the general why don't you fight me <laughs> serious what makes you worth my time weakling I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the ten lords my puppets as soon as the general arrives the heliobi will have a rematch why should I fight my own at this crucial moment That group of amateurs you put together? Ha! <laughs> They're nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit fairs under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you in your fight against the General. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy! See? Easy peasy. <laughs> Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army! We'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobi think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Furinox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Fury Nox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also... Her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Furinox's control. Mr. Chael, 
We're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength, too! Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough! I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out! It took me a lot of effort to be this brave! All this time I've just been hiding behind Mr. Trailblazer! I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Stray-E said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Quahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Stray-E? You're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Uh, I guess if even you two are afraid, then I feel a little better now. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the Evil Binding Matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay. to break apart so easily. Those are... possessed or... Ah, help me, Mr. Tail! What happened to talking tough? The rules are made to be broken. As easy as that. Let's go. Run. No. I'm scared! Stay together! our chance. Rules are made to be broken. our chance.
It's Madame Shree! <sighs> there are so many spirit bearers lying on the floor! Trailblazer! Wawa! I'm so glad you're okay! <sighs> I have defeated all the spirit fairs controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well. We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gourd into the evil binding matrix. Once Furinox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynifen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. <laughs> get her away from her! you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Excellent. I will keep my promise. Never dies. To the clouds. Oh, a mere pawn. <laughs> Time to suffer. This demon is quite troublesome. Consume too many helio by. We'd die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. We've still got a chance, puppet. Sarah said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when helio by fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Huahua? What? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? Uh, uh, <sighs> These pawns. 
Cons are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? I struggle being my subject! If you can't win, you just cheat! Let's make it quick. 
Rising. Boat! From the boat! Wind is rising. Boat! From the boat! Nap time. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! We'll come. The wind is rising. Boat! From the boat! Damage. Gale force! Now, stay the course. Help! Unscathed. Is rising. Bolt! From the blow! By the ten more. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! <laughs> Your talisman brought my command! Spirit never dies. Suppress. <laughs> Nap time. The wind is rising. Bolt! From the blow! Time fresh. <laughs> I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Time to suffer. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. The wind is full from the blow. We'll come.
I wonder how Huo Huo is doing. I should check up on her. Forgetting me? Ugh, your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours. Kid? As a spirit fair, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional guarding collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the creation furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fictual Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. One possessing Hua Hua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil-binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being, but they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Joe will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. Tail? Mr. Tail? Tail distracted, Cirrus. He helped us so much, but... And I've fought so much 
about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long, but now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! <laughs> Right. Madame Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail, he he must still be out there somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job. Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenyfin's friend, Miss Sushang. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. And maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. Oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. 